going on everyone? Matthew GS here. In today's lesson, I'm going to share with you what inefficient price action is, also known as imbalance. Okay, so I have TradingView open, and what imbalance is, is a very fast move in the market, and that creates inefficient price action also known as imbalance now what that means is because there's such a fast move the algorithm hasn't had time to buy and sell at equal pace how the market moves properly so when you get a really fast move the algorithm doesn't like it and it has to return back to that area of imbalance to fill it in before moving off. So for example, we're on the one hour time frame. This candle here shot up really fast. Before that, it was very slow, moving side to side, up and down, up and down. And all of a sudden, you get this really fast moving candle to the upside. And then as you can see, price has actually come back down it's it's come back down to this area so it's filled in this imbalance and then it's took off here okay so if I just delete this arrow here and I'll zoom in what the market has to do and what the algorithm likes to do before moving off is at least filling in 50% of that fast moving candle so you can test this out from wick to wick or body to body so if we go from wick to wick can you see how price has come back down it's tapped this 50 50 percent area it looks like it was going to go but then it's come back down and it's and it's filled pretty much the whole of this imbalance it's tapped this last candle here the wick so the wick so it's filled out all this imbalance here and then it's and then it's took off okay so I will show you another example if I just delete this one let's see Let's do, for example, this white candle here to the downside. This is created inefficient price action pretty much on this area here. And you can see it's really fast moving down, it's gone down, it's gone down, but then it's come back up, it's filled in the imbalance then it's shot back down and this one as well is tapped this wick here this last up handle before this down move and that's that example and what it does everyone is it it does this on every single time frame if I go to a five minute time frame is moving nicely up and down and then you get this really fast candle here which has created an imbalance so pretty much from there to there is imbalance then you've got this wick filled in a little bit it's gone up it's come back down it's probably tapped say 50% fill of this candle originally so can you see it's come up, it's come back down, it's filled in at least 50%, it looked like it was going to go, and then it's decided to come back, fill in a little bit more, tap around that 50% area, and then that one's took off. Maybe this 
missing some. Very fast move. The wick come in, it's feel part of that imbalance. And then what it does as an excuse, it likes to come back sometimes, takes out some buyers, excuse to maybe fill in a little bit more imbalance, and then it takes off again. This is just mainly on imbalance. So whenever you see a very, very fast moving candle to the upside or the downside, then that creates imbalance and that imbalance needs to be filled. So last example on the one minute time frame, price has been coming down healthy price action algorithm very very nice and then all of a sudden you get a very fast moving candle which is this candle here very very fast move up another up candle but then as you can see these two last bearish candles come down they fill in this imbalance great with this candle before that starts taking off. I'll just put the highlight. So this this candle from here to here has created imbalance. And yeah, that that's why you mainly get pullbacks in the market for this kind of thing. It's it's to fill in the inefficient price action imbalance. So you can go ahead and you can do some back testing and forward testing on this and see how you get on. But if you ever wondered why does the market pull back in those areas and then take off, it's, it, it has to do it. The algorithm doesn't like these fast moving candles. It has to come back, fill it in at some point and then take off. It's the kind of the same thing with price gaps. I've done a video on that earlier in this year. There'll be another link to that video as well. But when price gaps appear, the algorithm does not like it and it needs to come back, fill that gap and then take off again. So I hope you liked that video, hope that gives a little bit more of an insight into trading and, and how it works and I'm going to be posting some more videos of everything I've learned so far in my journey. So thank you and take care.